Hello, dear customers. Many thanks for your time to take part in uh, this presentation. It is my pleasure to share Jaffino tool and coaching solutions to you. Jaffino has released these uh, solutions because many customers are asking about Jaffino, about these kinds of requirements. And so we would like to uh, use this time to introduce about this solution to you. For our solution, there are totally four parts. In the first part, we would like to introduce about we need these solutions. Of course, in the uh, many customers uh, told us that they are facing a lot of uh, challenges when they are using about these temperature monitoring applications. In the second part, we would like to introduce about Finno's uh, product, which is focused on the temperature monitoring uh, solutions. And we also will introduce about some highlight features about these devices. And in the third part, uh, we would like to introduce the detail of uh, Jafino's temperature monitoring uh, solutions. Especially, uh, we would like to introduce how to build up your own solutions. In the final part, we would like to have a short summary to let you know about the solution benefits and also as well as the application memories. So now let's start with the, okay, the first part. In the first part, we are just going to introduce why Jafino released these temperature monitoring solutions. This is because many customers, when they are doing their business and when they are deploying their application in the full safety and the cold chain applications, they encounter a lot of challenges. And nowadays, in many countries and business areas, about these kinds of temperature monitoring requirements, it is become mandatory because this is required by the HACCP principle and rules. So I would like to have a first introduction about this concept. This concept is what we call about the HACCP. Many customers already know about this concept. The HACCP, it is an international uh, recognized method which is used to identify the food safety uh, risk. When these kinds of uh, system, it is central to the active food safety program and it can be provided to customers also and the public with credible data. That means it can let the customers know whether your food service is safe or not. And uh, normally these kinds of uh, HACCP rules now is uh, become mandatory in many countries. When customers and uh, food service providers, if they want to make business in this area, they have to comply to the HACCP principle. So uh, this is why uh, this is a very important for all the food safety customers need to obey. In this HACCP principle, if you use about, for example, some biological, or chemical or physical methods, to measure whether the food safety is safe enough. And they will use about the critical control point we call CCP during all the uh, process of the food service, including the purchasing, receiving, uh, storing, preparation, uh, cooking, plating, and serving. In all of these steps, it is required to use the temperature monitoring in all these steps. So uh, this makes the temperature monitoring become a uh, significant important in the food safety area. That means about all the food service providers uh, when they when they want to provide a good service and a safe service to customers, they have to guarantee that their food service system it is can comply uh, with the HACCP principles. Because now the HACCP principle uh, become a uh, mandatory in many countries. For example, in the North American, the USA, Canada, in this business area, uh, this is even become a law uh, for some area in this country. Uh, it is also mandatory uh, required in European area, like European Union and UK, as well as in the Australia and Japan and other countries also, like Turkey and some other countries, maybe not listed here, okay? So, because the HACCP's mandatory requirements of the food safety uh, temperature monitoring requirements, uh, so for the food service provider, they will try their best to provide these kinds of temperature monitoring in their food service systems. And many of our customers told us that they already try their best to fulfill these kinds of requirements but they also encounter many challenges some customer uh, when they want to provide these kinds of uh, temperature monitoring applications first the challenge they will encounter is that uh, who to collect uh, about the uh, temperature data for traditional applications normally there will be they will use about a uh, manually temperature uh, data collection but as we know for the manually temperature collect, uh, data collection the labor cost is very high and also it means about the efficiency is low uh, by manual collection. Also, and when uh, and during the COVID-19 uh, disease, and some of the area, like about the kitchen, the supermarket, may be blocked and cannot get entered. So in these cases, if they want to collect the data and uh, they cannot do it on time, uh, this is the first challenge they will encounter. And in the second challenge is about that uh, when they are asking uh, their workers uh, to collect these data 
and how to avoid the inaccurate temperature data and also how to eliminate uh, the false data because they don't know how to guarantee whether uh, this data is correct or it is not correct or it is a true data or false data so this is a uh, hard for the customers uh, to know about this and one customer in uh, Germany told us that many supermarkets and uh, many uh, food shops once the sometimes when the power is failure and the refrigerator and the damage and uh, maybe they just cannot deal with and check with it on time and this caused a serious food waste and a many big loss and every time there may be more than uh, two thousand dollars loss if this kinds of uh, failure happens so all of this uh, become uh, challenges when our users and the customers they are using about uh, for the temperature Merchant applications in this region. So, Jacquino released uh, several types of uh, device and products which is focused on to solve about these challenges. So, in the second part, I would like to introduce about Jacquino's products and these products uh, features and highlight functions which focus on solve the temperature monitoring solutions. Here, as you can see, we have three products devices which is used for temperature monitoring solutions. As you can see, the first one we call is uh, LH365 and uh, LoRa1 temperature and the humidity sensor. The LH365 and LoRa1 temperature humidity sensor, as you can see here, here this is the a picture of these uh, sensors. As you can see here, it has built-in temperature and uh, humidity sensor. This built-in uh, temperature and humidity sensor, it is used monitoring and test about the temperature and humidity of the air as an external temperature probe, this one probe, uh, which can be uh, used to uh, measure and monitoring about the solid, uh, the solid target temperatures, for example, the meat, uh, for example, the fruit, and so on. For the LHT65, and it is uh, designed with IP60A waterproof rating. So, which, uh, so that means about it can be used and put, in, put into the freezer and also the fridge, and also there, there is some place uh, which is has IP68 waterproof requirements. And LHT65 and also have a built-in 2400 mAh uh, battery, which can uh, support more than 10 years using. It can support long-time usage in our applications. And also, the LHT65 N it has a very good data logger feature, which can support 3000 uh, records. As well, it also has a temperature threshold alarm, which allow uh, users to set a temperature threshold in the application. And when the temperature exceeds about this temperature threshold, the sensor will automatically send these alarms uh, to the platform and also uh, send these alarms to maybe users' applications and even emails to let the user know uh, on time about these alarms. So this is the first sensors which we use in our solutions. And now I would like to introduce about the second devices we use. It is the LDS02 uh, one door monitoring sensor. This sensor is normally used together uh, with our temperature sensor. And because in some cases, there will be some users want to need to know and need to detect about the open and close of the door or open and close of the, of the freezer with refrigerator. In this kind, they will use about this LDS02 door sensors. It also has a very good function. It has open duration alarm functions. For this alarm, allow our users to set about the duration at the duration the time of the opening. And when this opening of the door or, or freezer, it has exceed a time, for example, like a five minutes or 10 minutes, and this door sensor also will send an alarm to our platform and also our users' apps and so on to let uh, our users know there is alarm of the door open and close. And so uh, this is the, the first two devices uh, the temperature sensor and the door sensor which we will use about in our solutions and except for the sensors we also need a gateway we need a gateway to deploy uh, for our solutions and this gateway we use is a uh, lpsa and uh, lower one indoor gateway this gateway is a uh, very good uh, with high performance uh, lower one gateway it has eight channels and it is uh, easy managed and also uh, support managed by uh, remotely and uh, above is the three devices which we will use in our solutions. All of these uh, three sensors, it is focused on solve the customer's temperature monitoring challenges. And we also have some customers asking a uh, you know, For example, when they are deploying about these devices in their applications, they are asking us, we are facing another challenge because uh, when in some area and in some place, the, the power will be cut off suddenly. 
And uh, also maybe there is some place they will not have lower signal. In this time, the data cannot be recorded continuously. So concern about these requirements, Adrogeno has released a new function in the latest version of the LHT65N. In this latest version, uh, LHT65N uh, starts to can support about the data log function. Just now we have mentioned that it can support 3000 data records. It has a very good function, uh, which we can see uh, in these pictures. Sometimes there are customers may need to transport about the food from one place to another place. And during this uh, transportation, there may not be uh, have a lower run network coverage. In this time, our LST65 sensors will continually uh, record about uh, these uh, temperature data. And if the data will be stored in the LST65 sensors RAM, and then after the, the sensor arrive a place which it can get a lower run network again, and the sensor then will send uh, all these data uh, to the, the server immediately. So in these cases, even when uh, during the transportation or even when some place there is no power supply, that means about our sensors, LST65 sensors can also record and uh, monitoring about the temperature data uh, continuously. This will be helpful to our users real-time uh, monitoring uh, solutions. And in total, here is the all the uh, device part that we introduced. And after that, uh, after after first and second uh, part, and now uh, let's go to the third part. Uh, for the third part, uh, we would like to have uh, introduced about uh, how these uh, devices works and how to build up users' temperature monitoring solutions. Uh, let's see about the first section is uh, how this solution uh, works. As we can see in this picture, to build these kinds of monitoring uh, temperature monitoring solutions uh, become uh, quite easy. User uh, only need to put the temperature sensor and the door sensor uh, in the place they want to put. For example, to put it in the refrigerator and the freezer and uh, also the cold car and so on. And after that, these sensors will collect the data uh, automatically and they will send the data to the gateway and the gateway will automatically forward uh, these data to the lower one server platform and after that a user can see and, and, and can get this data from the server and they can show in their IoT center or in their laptop or in their phones, apps and so on. So this is uh, uh, how these uh, devices uh, work for our users and uh, compared to the traditional temperature data records, our IoT solution have some advantage. Uh, first, we can provide a 724 real-time monitoring. That means about a user don't need to collect the data manually anymore. And all this job will be done by the sensors itself. Uh, it will be automatically done by the sensors. And the second uh, one is that uh, we can uh, have a real-time alarm uh, if there is any there's any more uh, temperature over exceed the threshold or there is a door open duration over the thresholds. Uh, users can get these alarms uh, on time in their IoT platform and also in their apps or email. So this become very, very automatically. It also uh, save a lot of cost. And a lot of uh, customers, they uh, may be uh, interested about how to build up uh, these kinds of uh, temperature monitoring uh, solutions. And now I would like to introduce about uh, three kinds of way and choices and choice solutions uh, for our customers. And for the solution one, uh, if user uh, want to build up these kinds of uh, temperature monitoring solutions, the first kind of way they can use about this solution one, we say that it's a look for an uh, offshore platform. Uh, in these kinds of solution, users just need to uh, first get sensor and gateways from Jokino. And after that, they will use about these uh, sensors and gateways and register these gateways and sensors in the material platforms like about TTN Lua one server and also get data from a material application server like Datacake. That means about when the customers get these sensors and gateways from the window and there won't be any other extra cost uh, of these kinds of solutions. And they can use about the, the module platforms okay, to, to start to deploy uh, their solutions and start to deploy these solutions to their customers. Also, the advantage of this solution is that it, it makes it fast and easy to release this solution to the market. It can uh, be deployed uh, very fast to your customers. And also, it has a low investment because users only need to buy the uh, sensors and gateways from Jacino. And 
for the module platforms like about the TTN and Data Cake, normally it is free of charge. And also there will, will not be any uh, IND cost, which means about it also has a low risk. Uh, this is an uh, introduction of the solution one. When it comes to uh, the second solution, uh, there will be some customers asking us whether they can build up their own uh, IoT platforms because they want to have a good control of the data. In these kinds of requirements, then we will suggest our customers to uh, use about the solution two to build up the user's own IoT platform. And in these solutions, uh, also uh, users just need to get sensors and gateways uh, from Jogino. And after that, because they don't want to uh, use about the module lower one server and application server anymore. So these times they have to uh, build up their IoT platform by themselves. And here there is some suggestions uh, to use about this uh, third-party IoT platforms, like about the uh, uh, chip stack. In this time, if a user want to uh, build up their own IoT platform, that means about uh, they need to have their own IoT team, uh, their IND team, and also their technical engineers, and so on, which have the ability to build up uh, these kinds of IoT platforms. Uh, the advantage is that user can have a self-control of the infrastructure of these kinds of IoT platforms. And also, user can uh, design about uh, some individual and special features for customers when they are creating their own IoT platforms. And this advantage is that this will cost more compared to the solution one. And normally, these kinds of IoT platform will cost a long time uh, to uh, deploy. Uh, yeah, this is another uh, disadvantage. Except for the uh, first and the second uh, solutions, we also provide another third solution for customers to build up the IoT solutions easy and fastly. That is uh, to use about the Jogino all-in-one solutions. In these all-in-one solutions, Jogino will release a new version of Gateway we call uh, LPSA version 2, LPSA v2. Uh, of course, uh, users also need to get the sensors from Jogino. And this time, they don't use about the LPSA and gateway anymore. Uh, instead, they use about the LPSA v2 gateway. For this gateway, it is already built in with the lower one, uh, the lower one server platform, and also it already built in the application server inside, like the node. In these cases, that means about uh, users just need to buy the sensors and uh, gateways from Jacino. They don't need to use about the uh, third parties. Uh, IoT platforms anymore. All these functions will be uh, integrated in the in the gateway inside. These uh, kinds of uh, solutions can bring our customers a very good and fast solutions for the temperature monitoring. Also, it's open source and based on the Linux Linux OS. And also, uh, if users can uh, want to customize its own functions, it also can be easy done in these solutions. As well, uh, it also supports page logging and uh, alarm functions. And so this is the third kind of uh, solution. And so all in above is the three kinds of uh, solutions which we introduce to our customers for how to build up their own IoT uh, solutions. And uh, in the final, in the fourth part, we'd like to uh, introduce about the solution benefits and as well as the application scenarios. After building up about these kinds of uh, temperature monitoring solutions, uh, as we can see that, uh, as we has mentioned just now, all the temperature data will be recorded by the sensors automatically. That means about no need to hire a worker and uh, to, to do about this job anymore. And we can reduce about the labor cost as well as we also make all the data be electronic actually. And also uh, all the, because all the data is, uh, is recorded by the sensors directly, and in these cases, uh, we can reduce about the force measurement and also it can be record very flexible. The data interval of the recording is depends on the user's requirements. Users can set it every one minute or every five minutes and, or, and every 10 minutes. This is very flexible. And after this kind of uh, solution is deployed and uh, from our customers' feedback, it is, has greatly used about the loss and the waste of the food. Uh, this is uh, what we have get this feedback from our customer about the uh, benefit of our solution. The final, I would like to introduce about uh, the application uh, scenarios. Uh, these kinds of application can be used in several kinds of food safety scenarios. Uh, for example, in the kitchen, in the freezer, in the food shop, in the restaurant, supermarket, uh, warehouse, uh, refrigerator, car, uh, convenience shop, 
uh, and so on. And it is very uh, flexible. Uh, users can deploy them in one gateway with one sensor, or one gateway with two sensors, or one gateway with three sensors. That is uh, quite uh, flexible. That depends on uh, users' detailed requirements. After that, a solution can be deployed in their applications and start bring benefit to their business. Above is all the solution content we have introduced. Okay, thank you for your time.